In India's state of West Bengal, protests by teenage girls against their forced marriage has turned into a mass movement that's starting to spread to neighboring districts. FSRN's Prabhakar Mani Tawari reports from Purulia district on this social uprising. Under Indian laws, it is illegal for girls below the age of 18 and boys below 21 to get married. But the law is rarely enforced and child marriage continues in many parts of the country. partly due to poverty and illiteracy but a new campaign aims to change that inspired by three teens facing a forced marriage more girls are taking a stand and saying no rekha kalindi helped launch the movement my parents had decided to marry me when i was just 13 years old but i refused to do so i said that i will continue my studies My mother asked, who will roll tobacco and work in the farms if I carry on with my schooling? But I firmly said that I will go to school and won't marry now. But how could Rekha muster courage to defy the family tradition of early marriage? The answer lies within the family. Her elder sister Supriya was married at the age of 12. Now she is 16 and has had four stillbirths. The first husband divorced her and now Supriya lives with her second husband. Rekha did not want to follow the path of her sister. On the other side of the sleepy town, Apsana Khatun also protested her early marriage. Despite pressure from her family and relatives, Apsana firmly stood her ground. I used to make sweets at home with other family members when my parents decided to marry me. But I refused to marry so early. saying I have to complete my schooling first. Only then can I think of marriage. Despite pressure from every front, I did not give in to their wishes. After a long battle, they finally agreed to let me complete my studies. Since then, we have prevented many early marriages in the area. Apsana lives in a one-room hut in a slum adjacent to railway tracks. Her father, Muhammad Hafiz, is a street vendor and sells things like homemade sweets to earn a living. He is still angry with his daughter's decision. Initially, I was not in agreement with her decision, but some of her friends also requested me to let her complete her study first. I gave in to her wish reluctantly. In Purulia, due to poverty, most residents are reluctant to send their daughters to the schools. Instead, they ask them to roll beads or tobacco to make money for the family. This is the reason why the female literacy rate is so low in the area. But more youth say this is a reversible trend and they are joining this campaign against early marriage. Rajia is a 14-year-old student. These girls are doing a noble work. Their family had planned early marriage, but they protested the decision. Now, early marriages have nearly stopped in the area. All the girls are going to schools now. Obviously, they will marry after completing their studies. The girls' stories gained national attention with newspapers hailing their success where local governments had failed. They became so popular that Indian President Pratibha Devi Patil met them in person in New Delhi. She hailed them as the messenger of social change. We may talk and preach a lot about the social changes, but the mindset of society will change quicker only when the girls themselves will show courage and maturity to speak against these social evils. Assistant Labor Commissioner of Purulia, Pradeep Kundu, who helped these girls in their campaign, is equally vocal. After the courage shown by these girls, the mindset of the society is also changing. The community leaders who were pushing for early marriages of the girls are now coming forward to combat this social evil. There is a general awareness in the local people due to the initiatives of these girls. In neighboring Bankura town, local school teacher Papi Sen also echoes these views. Girls like Rekha and Afsana are doing a great job in this backward Puralia and Vancouver regions. We should support their efforts. The teens have sparked the hope of bright future among all the girls in the area. Afsana is studying hard and says she had liked to get a medical degree and become a doctor. Rekha and Sunita aim to study computer science. Prabhakar Mani Tiwari, FSRN, West Bengal, India.